Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to Goetia. Now, in the last episode, I failed quite miserably at this puzzle. Okay. Mother, silver. Silver, moon. I looked at this and thought zero, because there's a big circle around it, but I didn't see this with a four around it. So I think it's four, two, zero, two. Let's give that a try. <clears throat> Excuse me. Four. Two. Zero. Two. Okay, something happened there. No messages here. we have here? All right. Okay, so apparently Robert's still alive. Evelyn's still alive. There's no crosses next to the children. Hmm. Notes on the history of the Blackwoods. Judging by the notes I could gather here and there, and the research led by my ancestors, the first traces of the Blackwoods date back to the beginning of the 19th century. They are only sparse lists. Most of the useful information is from the last two centuries. The Manor. According to the Register of Births, Blackwood Manor is a family... Uh, is fairly recent in the family's history. The residence located close to the Oak Marsh village was the feast of the Blackwoods since its construction in 1623. I couldn't find where the Blackwoods came from before that, however. The manor as we know it today has little in common with the old building. Some parts have been added to the building, while are more or less in harmony with the original plans. The Avery, in particular, was one of Sir Edward Blackwood's whims. Is it me? I've just noticed something. The B in Blackwood it seems to be in lowercase. Or could that just be a funky B? I don't know. Uh, the Avery, in particular, da, 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 was built between 1795 and 1798. The upper floors were apparently added or made higher, the tower that we named the observatory is the last piece of the set and was added in 1812. As for the location of the manor, it seems to be built on the ruins of a medieval stronghold itself built on the ruins from the Roman era. Such sense of a place is hardly uncommon, but there are few traces of the past nowadays. I managed to find a plan mentioning the old building in the eastern part of the estate, nevertheless. Additionally, our ancestor Jonathan Blackwood sponsored an archaeological mission on his estate in 1856. Numerous objects from the Roman era between 60 and 70 AD were unearthed. Pottery, amulets, cutting, cutlery, a few coins. With this discovery, Jonathan Blackwood became an honorary member of the London Society of Archaeology. A second team was commissioned to pursue further uh, uh, further C6? Uh, I don't know, but the results were not mentioned anywhere. For some unknown reason, the main contractor seems to have disappeared along with his workers and his equipment without even asking for payment. This last detail... Have we just started playing something horrible? Mm -hmm. This last detail intrigues me. A simple disagreement between Jonathan Blackwood and the contractor would not have been cause for him to forget about uh, remuneration. 
I believe he fled after discovering something in the manor's basement, though the thought is both terrifying and fascinating. Among Blackwood's architectural curiosities, one in particular is noteworthy, the church. It is located in the center of Eldritch, a peculiar choice of place of worship. The closest building is the Watchtower. It was built in the 16th century and was, marks the limit of the estate. Crossing the forest in order to pray is quite an experience. I suppose this place was chosen for a reason, but what reason it may be escapes me. The history of this building is rather hectic. The first church was built in the 13th century and destroyed in 1537. When Henry VIII ordered the dissolution of the monasteries, Sir William Whitegate, Bishop of Coventry, had it rebuilt in 1557. It was completed. 1551, rather. It was completed in 1556. No mass has been celebrated there since the last start of the century. The Blackwood Lineage. I need to do a different voice. There are several hypo hypotheses regarding the origins of the Blackwood family. But it's quite difficult to make sense of this information is indeed accurate. Some think that it is a, a branch of the Douglas clan, which changed its name somewhere. Uh, some, it changed its name when they left the lowlands. In any case, everyone seems to agree that the lineage is of Scottish origin. There is a mention of a departure from sitting Oh dear. Stellingshire in the 14th century when the first Blackwoods, sorry, wrong voice, then the first Blackwoods settled in Western Midlands. About the same time, they were ennobled. The, the first Blackwoods exploits cannot be denied. Their descendants chose different occupations. One branch of the family has been known for its research in medicine, while the study of the human body uh, from the 17th century. It includes a few talented individuals, such as Cole Blackwood, who incurred the wrath of both the public and the church. As a court physician, he seemed to have an interest in studies that would normally that were nor morally reprehensible. Few documents mention the rest of his life, but there were numerous of sorcery and necro necromancy. Time or not, Cole Blackwood seems to be at the base of the dark reputation of our lineage. Since then, uh, since... Since then, our family has stopped studying the sciences. This passion has found its way into the family motto in 1742. I'm not even going to try. Educate, teach. A credo that seems to connect the Blackwood lineage to the common good that goes beyond our simple existence and one that I am exceptionally fond of. This trait might become more and more pronounced with each generation. Father's obsession with education, research, and culture in its broadest sense as influenced my youths and my own carpet of science and lineage. I understand the full extent of it now. Though the Blackwood family has numerous descendants, they all share this particular link in spite of the distance. We now have two professions. My father, a teacher of literature, a researcher in biology, and two physicians. Oh, that was hard to read. 
I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm I'm reading Rutherling Heights at the moment. It is a wonderful, wonderful novel, and I, I heartily recommend it to everybody. But and this is an important but there's one character that speaks in broad Yorkshire dialect. Now it's impossible to work with. Now, I, I can understand the gist of what he's saying, but to try to read it out loud, it's it's almost like it's an, a new language. Uh, it just doesn't mean anything. I have no clues for half the words, and it just comes out as fair, but the bad, 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 now it's just wrong. Okay, let's get back to this. Twenty-one. 21, 24. So what was it? Cat, moon, 21, 24. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Cat, 2, 2, 3. Crescent moon. I'm sure this is the clue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. No, that's too short. Cats. Moon. Moon. Cats. This doesn't make any sense to me. Cats, moon, Oh, hold on. Cat. Full moon, crescent moon, crescent moon, full moon, cat. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Let's go and find out, shall we? All right. Okay, we need to change this. Okay. Hmm, let's give this a go. So, cat. Full moon, crescent moon, crescent moon, full moon, and we didn't need the last cat. <laughs> Excellent. All right, let's move on. In fact, let's have a look at the journal and then move on. I am discovering vast sections of our family's history. Father was never talkative about it. We had a few cousins, but I never met them. Only branches of the family tree, but still, there are so few of us left nowadays. Down we go. 
Oh, another. This one seems to be working. I don't think I'll be needing it though. Yeah, you're probably right. Goodness, this cave is huge. How could all this be hidden under the manor without any of us knowing? Did father and mother know about this place? E K ooh. This ventilation pipe is proof that someone has been working here, or maybe even living here. But who and to what end? Now, I am intrigued, and I want to go and look at that ventilation pipe again. And I think. These plants are reacting to my presence. The feeble glow of my orb, perhaps. Oh yes, they would suck the life out of you, wouldn't they, young lady? An old-fashioned camera, and the flash to go with it. Alright, okay, okay, I want to go and look at that pipe again. I'd forgotten about the pipe, I just remembered about the pipe. I want to go and look at the pipe. Let's have a look at the pipe. Is what I'm saying here, basically. Okay. So... No, let's possess this because I wonder if we can use this because there's a little ledge there. I noticed it earlier on, but I didn't think about it. No, wrong one. Another one. No, okay, I can't. Doesn't say it's done anything. Perhaps I need to drop the other one there. As I can take this, let's take this and have a look. Let's see if it's done anything down at the other end. And I'll try swapping them over, I suppose. Can I... No, I can't use this on them. No, I don't seem to have done anything really, do I? No. Okay, let's go back. doing for time. Oh, nearly up. Right, we've got somewhere at least this episode. Uh, let's put you down there. Possess you. Get you out of the way. Possess you. Let's put you down there. Okay, I would expect some sort of message if I'd done something that changed something. And uh, let's just check to make sure that there's nothing more that could be possessed here. No. Okay. Let's take this one down, just, just to be on the safe side. Let's take this one with us and see if carrying this down makes any difference. Sometimes these, just taking an item into an area will reveal things.
No, that doesn't surprise me, that makes no difference. Hmm, okay. Alright, let's leave the book, let's leave it here. Let's go and explore a little further. Ooh. Even more down. It looks like excavations were focused around this well, but my faint glow won't be bright enough to shed light in there. Okay. These shovels are badly rusted. No one must have used them for a long time. I'm not an expert, but these ancient columns look like they must be Roman. What would they be doing so far underground, though? This old table has seen a lot of use. The drawers have a lot of wear and tear. They're so worn out that they weren't much. Magnesium. Very, oh, very explosive. A map of the caves. It would be very handy if the network of tunnels don't stop here. Okay. The looks of this. Um, it just covers what we've already seen. Uh, this GK and two might be interesting, but magnesium. This glass is red, the same hue as the tiny tree in the laboratory. Where did these strange plants come from? Some stones bearing chalk marks. They stand out from the wall and it looks like they can be moved. sure what that did. Nope, no idea what that did. But... Let's see what they... Actually, no, I'm distracting myself. I want to take care of this magnesium. Because we saw a camera out here. Cameras like magnesium. Ah. Is that another cave I see behind the plot? How are we doing for time? We are running over time. This report is from the 1st of October, 1856. Did grandfather or grandmother finance these expedition excavations? Well, I'll tell you what, we'll find out next episode. Until then, I have been Simon Parsons. This has been Goetia. Thank you, and good night.